La Cold Baby. Episode 6. Big Six and a. Your life is the way it is because of you. Oh my gosh. Did you just say that? Mm hmm. Your life is the way it is because of you. No. My life sucks because of the Matrix. No. Mm. Well, my life sucks because of society. No. Well, my life sucks because of her. No. My life sucks because of my family. No, 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 no. Your life is the way it is because of you. Here's why. Too often we have this thing, which I once had, which is I like to call a victim program. We like to see ourselves as victims, that everything is happening to us. When actuality, we are manifesting everything, the secret. Law of Attraction. Shh. But don't tell nobody I told you. La Co Baby. Yeah, all right. So let's get into it. Real quick. Well, that honestly, God, it's not going to be real quick. <laughs> we're going to get into this and we're going to get into it. Uh huh. So we like to have this thing, back to what I was saying, we, we tend to have this thing, I had it once in my lifetime, and sometimes I still do have it in certain moments, certain situations. It's something that I call a victim program. What the fuck? What the fuck you smoking? <laughs> a victor's program. A victim's program. A victim's program is, pardon me, is believing that everything happens to us and not actually realizing that we are manifesting all of these situations into our life. I have a question for you right now. Are you feeding your fears or are you feeding your heart's desire? There's this Native American old proverb and the chief told the young warrior that there are two wolves that lives inside of all of us young warrior one wolf which is of light and another wolf which is of shadowness and he goes on to say these wolves are in a constant dance for top dog Alpha and the young warrior says well chief who becomes alpha <laughs> the chief did something like that and he says well young warrior the one that becomes alpha is the one that you feed drops everything <laughs> yeah the one wolf that you feed will become stronger and he or she shall become alpha. Okay. Basically, what I'm saying is what we focus on grows. I feel like that Kendrick Lamar uh, video. What was that shit called? Uh, I'm going I'm to think about it. But right now, let's finish this video. Humble. Be humble. When he had all them angles, it was like, be humble, bitch. Hold up, be humble. I feel like I'm getting all angles in this one. Okay. <laughs> be humble. Sit down. Okay, right now. What we focus on grows. There was this great psychiatrist by the name of Fritz Perls that once said, take responsibility. Now, why is that important? 
because when one is in the victim program, they're not taking responsibility for the situations that they have manifested. They're always putting their power externally. They're giving away their power. When honestly, their power is within themselves, where it's always been. The power has always been with you. The force has always been with you. The force was just waiting for you to grab it, to sit from that holy grail. When we break down the word responsibility, it means, it says, when we break down the word responsibility, it says, respond to your ability. Drops everything. So we need to realize that every situation that we find ourselves in, we have manifested, we have created that. We have done it to ourselves through the law of attraction. Take responsibility. Whenever you're in a situation that you feel you can't handle or you ever in a part in time in your life where you're like, fuck, uh, whatever, whatever. Take responsibility. Take responsibility. Okay. You know I gotta bring in the food lifestyle. You know I gotta bring that into this video. When we eat, when we eat, when we eat junk food, we feel like junk. And when we feel like junk, we vibrate at a low level. And that vibration is relative, related to the law of attraction, which means we attract what we feel, what we think, and what we are. But that's the secret. Shh. Don't tell nobody I told you. La cold, baby. Yeah. We also... like to... complain. Now I say we because I was once too a complainer. I once too externalized my power. Nowadays, I don't do that anymore. I realize that my power is within me, so within every moment, every second, I go back to my power and I pull my power out so I can be powerful. No one man should have all that power. The source been within you for like three million hours. Okay, let's get into it. When we have this thing called the entitlement program, we feel that we deserve everything. Now, how does this, now, now Romello, how the fuck does this correspond with the topic? Well, good question, Johnny. This entitlement program, this entitlement program that many of us have is basically, in a nutshell, people feel that they just are entitled to things. They don't have to work for things. And when you, don't, when you feel you don't have to work for things, now I'm speaking this from experience because I was once in that position. I once felt that, I mean, I still feel I'm royalty. I know I'm royal blood. But I used to have this thing where I used to say, I deserve that. Like, that that's basically mine like i always felt that the world was entitled to me which it totally is not now if i work towards it of course and i don't stop i'm going to have the world la code but this entitlement program is a program within our mind that tells us that we are entitled to things even if we don't work for it which can cause a lot of tension in life because the universe don't abide by that program. The universe is looking at us like, bitch, boy, mm, motherfucker, you better get your ass up and go to work. <laughs> you better work for it, boy. My pyramids wasn't built by entitlement. Entitlement. Those pyramids were not built by entitlement. Them pyramids were built through work, through labor, 
We need to work. We need to put in labor to get the things we deserve. But then again, we only deserve them when we don't stop working towards them. La code. And when we complain, we also externalize our power because we say, well, this situation with my boss, he, he told me that I need to be on time. I have to walk to work. This is seven miles. Ugh. Nah. When we complain, well, this relationship isn't going well because you don't want to talk to me as much as you used to. You just want the pussy. <laughs> yeah. We need to realize we're standing in our own way. We're standing in our own way in the sense of that we are our own worst enemy. We are our best friend as well. We're in our way because we have a closed mind. We're closed off to any external information that is trying to be brought to us to help us, excuse me, evolve to a higher consciousness, evolve to more awareness. We are closed-minded. When we are in the victim program, when we're in the victim's when we're in the victim's program, we are closed off to information. In order to get out of this victim's program, we need to be open-minded, especially to the people who've been around on this planet longer than us, people who are more aware of things and we internally feel that they're right at heart and they just want the best for us. We need to look at those people and take in their advice, learn from those people. Those people are going to help us prosper. Those people are gonna help us get the things that we want in life. We need to realize that we need to let go of limiting beliefs. We need to let go of these beliefs where, oh, I'm not good enough for her. Bitch, please. <laughs> or the limited belief, if I don't go to college and get a degree, I never get a good paying job. Or my color skin puts me in a disadvantage in America. Better let go of that limited belief, boy, girl. We are all kings and queens, no matter what color, no matter what race, no matter where you are, no matter how you look, how you talk, how you walk, how you speak, how you dance, no matter how you meditate, no matter if you meditate, if you don't meditate, we are all kings and queens. We just need to step into our power. We need to ex stop. We need to stop. Ex we need to stop externalizing our power. We need to stop externalizing our power and step back into our power. Our power is within ourselves. When we step back within to ourselves, we gain more power. Drops the mic. <laughs> if you feel like your life sucks, it probably does. If you feel like the world is after you, it probably is. But if you feel that you deserve more, you probably do. If you feel the world is after you, it probably is because you have a shitty attitude towards life and you seem to only focus on the negative things, which in the long run is adding more problems to your situation. When we only focus on the negative things, we tend to block out the positive things. When we only focus on the things that are going bad, we allow the things that we don't want in our life to win. We allow those things to control our mind, which in turn controls our life. And that also will allow the negative things to win.
you, me, or anyone who walks this planet will never be at peace as long as we continue to constantly focus on the negative things. Let me say that again. You, me, or anyone else on this planet will not find true happiness and peace for as long as we continue to focus on the negative things. Let me say that one more time. You, me, or anyone else on this planet will not find true happiness and peace if we keep focusing only on the negative things. Drops the mic. We will not find happiness or peace as long as we surround ourselves with people who drain us. People who drain us, things who drain us, anything that drains us, we will not find true happiness and peace as long as we're around it. But once we break away, it's like the hurricane is coming through. We find our power again. There is no way to sugarcoat this at all. You are your own worst enemy, you are your own best friend, and you are the only person that's standing in your way from goals and success. Let me say it again. You are your worst enemy, you are your best friend, and you are the only person that's standing in your way from achieving your goals and your success. La cold. And we out. Peace.